talk to oh, uh, not Tom this? Devine. Oh, uh, not that one. <laughs> okay. You mean, oh, you mean the crotch rocket. Exactly. I was okay. going to ask you'll you the a, name of it. You'll do a B-roll on the crotch yeah. rocket. Yes, okay. How does it work? Like, how do you fire the crotch you know, rocket? It's, you know it's only a movie, right? Uh-huh. Yes, right. Because <laughs> there, there, were, there were four guys that operated that thing. You know, they had to make, the, the cables had to make the, uh, the cod piece flip down. And mm -hmm. then two guys had to make with cables the crotch rocket pop up. And then uh, they fired flash paper through it, you know. Okay. And added the sound effects later. Somebody actually walked up to me and said, how do they get the bullets from the cylinder into uh -huh. the shaft? And I had to explain, you know, it is only a movie. Okay. <laughs> I would always imagine it would kind of hurt to fire. No, no. Were you in the army? Uh -huh. No. Then you don't know shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> one of the things they, they do with you in the army is they take and put... When you fire M16, mm. they make you fire it on top of your chin. Oh, yeah. They make you fire it on your crotch. Oh, wow. And to show you that there's no recoil. Uh huh. You know, and there isn't any with the really? M16. So I'm assuming it was the same thing with the crotch rocket. That would not be a recoil. Well, that answers that. The greatest horror movies are the old ones where you didn't see it. You had to, you know, you had to fill in the blanks. You had to imagine. Like you might hear like an attack behind a door. Like in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, there's nothing that you see. But yeah. you walk away from that film thinking that you saw horrible, brutal stuff. It's the power of the, it's the, power of the imagination. There's a movie called Leopard Man, where a leopard attacks a girl behind a closed door. You only hear it. But now I saw that when I was a kid, and it still sticks in my head, because I had to create the scene. And you, and you, yeah. And you create it differently every time you see it, depending on how old you are. Now, if, if there was an effect, mm -hmm. if they if they created the attack on the girl, you saw that. That's it. That was what it always will be. It'll never be anything else. The the movies that stick out in your mind that are your favorites are the ones that are unique and different, you know? mm -hmm. and it's still true today. character that the only, continues, right? The only time in a Romero movie that a character is repeated. That's why I'm dressed and made up exactly the way I was, you know, but in reality, I, I'm only, I've only been walking around as a zombie for like a year and a half. So it was like a year and a half between Dawn of the Dead and Land of the Dead. That's, that's, that's from George Romero's mouth to your ears. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it was always like an assumption before, so... No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm carrying a machete! Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, what do we got to do, stuff it down your throat? <laughs> I'm blades from Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, right there, That's look. Awesome. Imagine that as a zombie, and you've got Land of the Dead. 